بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نامد ہو و نسلی اللہ رسول الکریم دا آنریبل پروفیسر ڈاکٹر احمد علی شاہد ڈائریکٹر فیڈرل سیٹ سرٹیفکیشن مسٹر محمد آزم ایم ڈی پنجاب سیٹ کارپوریشن مسٹر فضل الرحمان لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹلمین اٹس اے گریٹ بگننگ اینڈ آئی تھنک آر فارمر ول الٹیمیٹلی بی بینیفیٹڈ فرام اٹ ایز اسپیکرس بفور می ہیو ایمفسائز دا امپارٹنس آف کاٹن کراپ آئی تھنک یو آل نو دیٹ اٹس ناٹ اونلی این امپارٹنٹ کراپ بٹ اٹ از بیک بون آف دا اکانومی ایز اٹ واز ٹولڈ دیٹ آر more than 55% of export earning comes from cotton and cotton made ups and when we talk about cotton we realize that uh, historically this region the plains of punjab and plains of sindh we have been cultivating cotton it was uh, i would say late 70s and early 80s when we started making a breakthrough in cotton production from during those days our cotton production started increasing from 2 million bales to 3 4 5 6 and ultimately we touched 12 million bales if we draw a graph it goes like this and it was mainly hard work of the scientist and positive response of the growers and scientists evolved new varieties and growers tried to adopt better practices to get better yields and that's why our production uh, started increasing and that was the time when we could only say that cotton is a crop in which we are ahead of india ahead of india not in terms of uh, uh, quantity but in terms of quality as well and i that was a golden era and credit goes to the scientist of that time and i would like to mention um, dr mahboob munirudin khan dr zahur who were the main uh, scientist who gave high yielding varieties and good uh, uh, varieties which used to produce a uh, very fine quality lint so that uh, success story was uh, halted because of leaf curl virus but our scientists took the challenge and they developed varieties which had resistance against uh, leaf curl virus and we again we started producing in cotton but as you know the knowledge keeps increasing and technology keeps improving so then in the world a paradigm shift came in cotton production technology when this paradigm shift took place uh, some of the people here in pakistan started debate whether we should go for the new technology or stick to the old one and some people for their own vested interest tried to block the way for new technology and tried that uh, their 
monopolistic businesses should keep thriving the way they were in the past. But the technology can never be stopped. The, you may close the doors for technology, but it will make its own way. So then transgenic varieties were not allowed to be cultivated here in Pakistan, but unofficially some transgenic varieties were <coughs> smuggled into Pakistan. And since we did not have the proper technology, so with back crossing, with conventional breeding, those varieties were multiplied and spread all over Sindh and Punjab. So, and moreover, there were no government policy to support cotton production or promote cotton uh, production. Although for nation, cotton is, was and is uh, very, very important crop. But for some individuals, they, there were some other industries, other crops, which were personally more beneficial to the individuals. Not to the nation, but to the individuals. So, uh, cotton zone was dezoned, and sugar cane and was sugar industry was uh, set up in in cotton zone, and cotton production started diminishing. Although cotton was the main raw material which our industry required. But still, its production kept diminishing. And a year before I was given the responsibility of agriculture ministry, we hit the bottom in terms of production. But since I realized the importance of cotton, I emphasized its revival. I had a detailed discussion with Prime Minister of Pakistan for revival of cotton. And ultimately, we took bold steps. We introduced a uh, sport price for cotton. We took certain measures. We introduced uh, <clears throat> integrated pest management system. And I, I remember when uh, the review committee was uh, examining cultivation of cotton. And I, I was told that the cultivate, we could not achieve uh, cotton cultivation target. And I was told that today's our cotton cultivation is 17% less than the target and 21% less than the previous year's cultivation. So I told my extension workers and experts of the agriculture department that you need not worry about the target. But from my side, challenge given to you is that whatever cotton has been sown, you have to protect each and every plant. And that, 
and they responded to that challenge. That's why last year, all with with 70 percent less than target and 21 percent less than previous year's cultivation, we achieved a much higher production. And by the grace of God, and God, we dedicatedly work, not only myself, but entire agriculture department, work dedicatedly, and God rewarded us. So, now, as I said earlier, that there was a, a paradigm shift in cotton production. So, with time, now I am proud to say that Center of Excellence for Molecular Biology adopted the new technology. They trained the scientists for, uh, to produce transgenic varieties and ultimately they discovered the gene which was resistant against pink bollworm and they start, developed transgenic varieties successfully. I congratulate Center of Excellence for this achievement. And I appreciate that this center has done something which was very much required to require to revive Pakistan's economy. And they have done it. And I hope and pray that in future they will keep meeting the challenges which come uh, in the field of agriculture. Although they have uh, made a lot of success in health sector, human health sector as well. But uh, since my concern is mainly of agriculture, so I am talking about agriculture. And I say that with this de dedication, we can do wonders <coughs> and achieve whatever uh, we want to. So, I, in the beginning, that's why I said that it's a very happy day for me because today Center of Excellence for Molecular Biology is signing an uh, MOU with Punjab Seed Corporation to multiply their varieties at Punjab Seed Corporation farms and produce more seed of transgenic varieties for the farmers so that we can uh, not only we revive our production which in the past touched 16 million bales. But I think now we have to focus on production of 20 million bales. Hard work of Prime Minister Imran Khan for the development of economy. Today our textile sector has grown and uh, last year we exported textile worth 15 billion dollars and this year we are expecting to export textile worth 20 billion dollars and i am sure we have the potential to export textile worth 60 billion dollar if Bangladesh, without producing raw cotton, can export a textile, a value-added textile, 
are worth 34 to 36 billion dollars. Why can't we, we go up to 60 million dollars? There is no reason uh, we cannot achieve that reason. And for that, we need quality seed and required amount of quality seed. This year, I know that there is a lot of acceptance from the farmers for CKC varieties, but this year uh, enough seed is not available. So this agreement will facilitate us to achieve production of uh, transgenic seed up to the level of our requirement. And Seed Corporation has been a prime institution of agriculture department. And I usually say that when I started farming, uh, although I had master's degree in agriculture, but practical agriculture I learned from the Seed Corporation. And it was a prime institution. But unfortunately, in the past, this institution was also decaying. When I took over, it was one of my top priorities that I should revive Seed Corporation. And then for appointment of MD Seed Corporation, myself and then Secretary to CM had number of meetings to select uh, a person who should really steer Seed Corporation out of management crisis and revive its glory the, which it had in the past. And luckily, we were able to select a very competent uh, person, uh, Dr. Mr. Fazlo Rahman, uh, and now I see that Seed Corporation is on the path of recovery. The recovery which we want. It's not only the conventional seed multiplication we want. Uh, we expect that now Seed Corporation should be an institution which should be able to compete with any seed company in the world. That's my objective. Although it will take some time, but that is the goal we have set for ourselves. And today, when we talk of high goals, I must say that then we have to get out of conventional multiplication of seed to modern ways of seed multiplication. And for modern ways of seed multiplication, Seed Corporation must have agreements with research institutions like CAM and produce latest seed in the, with the latest technology. I'm glad that we allocated reasonable amount of budget to refurbish our seed plants and that work is being carried out very in a very able manner and we will further upgrade our seed plants and we will further upgrade the technology to produce hybrid seed, to produce transgenic seed, to produce genomic varieties and inshallah we will see that this effort will make our country more prosperous and 
फूड सिक्योर थैंक यू वेरी मच